What's up? I'm Dale from Creator Pro Website, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a website in just 10 minutes. And we're gonna do it in just five simple steps. By the end of this video, you'll learn how to create any website you want by using this easy drag and drop method. So if you're ready, let's get started. Step number one is to get your domain name and web hosting. Hosting and a domain are the two things that you need to launch a website. To get these, just click on the very first link in the description, and this will take you to a special co-branded landing page that I have with HostGator.com to get my viewers a massive discount on hosting. So you can see that we've got a few different plans. What they recommend and what I recommend is to stick with the Hatchling plan if you're just starting out. It's gonna give you a single domain, a free SSL, everything you need to get started with a website. So we're gonna do buy now on the Hatchling plan. And here is where we can register our own custom domain name right here. And if you already own a domain, you can click on this tab right here and hook that up. But we're gonna get a new one. So you can just type in your domain here that you wanna buy. I'm gonna do 10minuteweb.com. And you can see here in green that it is available. And if not, it'll come up in red and then you can just select a new one. So we're gonna get that one and we're just gonna scroll down and make sure that domain privacy protection is checked because without this, your information like your email and your phone number could become public and then people will be able to spam you and it's not fun. So HostGator offers this domain privacy protection for you. So make sure that you have that checked and then scroll down here and make sure that your package type says Hatchling or whichever one that you chose. And then you can change your billing cycle, which is automatically set to 36 months. And that's gonna give you the biggest discount because you are gonna be paying for all of this upfront, but you end up saving money by the end. Now what I recommend is to do the 12 months because you're buying your domain name for 12 months anyway. So you might as well buy hosting for 12 months as well. And this is still gonna give you a huge discount. Now maybe you're just getting started, you just kinda of wanna get your feet wet with designing a website. You can always just do the one month payment plan. So for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and stick with that and then scroll down and create a HostGator account. So just put in an email and a password and then just a security pin that you're gonna remember. And then just scroll down and here's where we're gonna put in our billing info and you can use credit card or PayPal. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this out real quick. And then just scroll down to the add additional services section and we're actually going to be unchecking all of these. So we're gonna uncheck site lock essentials as well as the back up your hard work because I have videos on my channel that show you how to do all of this stuff completely for free and I will link them in the description below. I have videos on how to back up your site, how to get a professional email address, how to secure your website and more. So once those are unchecked, just scroll down to the bottom and make sure that your coupon code says create a pro website, which it does. And this is what's gonna get you that massive discount. Now this is my affiliate link, so I do receive a commission whenever you use it, but it also saves you a lot of money and it helps me fund these free YouTube tutorials that I'm able to put out. So it's a win-win for both, but you don't have to use it if you don't want to. So we'll just review our order real quick. We've got our $18 domain registration went down to only $5. Then we've got our one month of hatchling, which went from $10 down to $7. And then the hosting add-ons is just the domain privacy protection. So at $29, not bad at all. Just agree to the terms and then click check out now. Cool, so now HostGator's setting up your account. So just give this a second. And now they're gonna try to ask you some questions. So you can just go ahead and click on the X. And then you can also just go ahead and click on the X on this screen as well. And this is gonna take us to our HostGator dashboard. Okay, so now step number two is to install WordPress. So in order to install WordPress, just come down here to install WordPress underneath control panel and click on that. And then just click on install now right here. And then just make sure that you're on the latest version of WordPress, which it looks like we are. And then just come down here and give your website a name, which you can always change later. And then a site description. And then for admin username, just put in your name and then create a password. And this is gonna be the password that you use to sign into your website every time. Cool, and then for admin email, just put in your email, the same one that you use to sign up for HostGator with. And then just scroll down all the way to the bottom and then click on install. Cool, so now WordPress is installing, so just give that a second. Cool, so WordPress was installed. And the way to sign into your website is to click on this URL here, or you can just go up to a new tab, type in your new domain name, 
and then do forward slash WP dash admin, just like that. And if you're brought to a page that looks like this or anything that's not the WordPress sign on page, it just means that your website has to propagate. And what this means is that HostGator has to send out your new domain name across the entire world to let every server in the world know that, hey, this new domain name now exists. And this process can take anywhere from 30 minutes to about an hour. Usually for me, it only takes about 10 minutes though. So every 10 minutes, just come back and refresh the page and check on your website. Once you're brought to a page that looks like this, you know that you're good to go. Okay, so we've refreshed the page and we're at the WordPress sign-on. So we're gonna go ahead and sign in. So just use your username, which is just my name, and then the custom password. And then just click login. And here we are inside of the WordPress dashboard. Okay, now step number three is to activate a new theme. So if we just go up to our website name up here, and then we just go to visit site, we can see what our current theme looks like, which does not look very good. So let's go ahead and get a new one. So we're just gonna click on the back button and then just come down here to appearance and then go to themes. And you can see our currently installed themes, but we're gonna go ahead and click on add new theme right here. And we're just gonna go over to the search bar at the top right and we're gonna type in Astra because this is the theme that I highly recommend. I've tried tons and tons of themes through WordPress and Astra is by far my favorite. So we're gonna go ahead and click on install and then click activate. Cool, so now let's just head up to our website name again and click on visit site. And you can see that our website is looking a lot cleaner now, but still not where we want it to be. So let's go ahead and click on the back button. Okay, and now step number four is to activate plugins. Now with this theme, we also need to install a plugin that allows us to build the website using drag and drop. So let's go get it. So we're just gonna go down here to plugins and then go over to add new. And then just go over to the search bar and type in Astra again. And then you should see starter templates right here. And it's got 800,000 active installations and five stars. So it's a great plugin. So we're gonna go ahead and click on install now and then click activate. Now that plugin that we just activated comes with a bunch of awesome starter templates in order to design your website. So let's go ahead and see what those templates look like. So I'm just gonna scroll down here in my plugins list and I'm gonna go to starter templates and click on C library. And then it's just gonna ask you to select a page builder and we're gonna be doing Elementor, which is this first one right here. And here you have a bunch of awesome starter templates to choose from in order to start customizing your website. So if you wanna see what one looks like, just go ahead and click on it. And then you can just scroll down and get a little bit of a preview of the site, as well as the other pages that come with it, like the about, services, and contact. And if you want to import this website, you can just go ahead and click on import complete site. So we're gonna do that now. And I'm just gonna click on import. So just give that a few minutes. So that imported successfully. So now we're just gonna click on view site. Okay, and now step number five is to customize your website. So you can see that our website has been imported successfully. And now all we have to do is just click on edit with Elementor right up here. And here's where you can use Elementor in order to customize your website. Now over here, you've got a bunch of widgets. So if you wanna use one of them, like let's say a button, you can just click and drag, and then you can drop it wherever. And you can Command Z if you're on a Mac or Control Z on a PC in order to undo any of your changes. And if you wanna edit anything on screen, just simply click on it like this text right here. And you can type right on the screen or you can do it up here in this box. And if you wanna change the font or the size or the color of the text, you can just go over to the Style tab right here and you can change all of that right here. If you wanna change the background image, just simply click on these six dots up here at the top and while we're on this page, you can see that you can change the minimum height to bring this whole section to be smaller or larger. And to change the background image, just simply click on the Style tab. And then you can see the image right here. You can just click on Choose Image. And then you can just upload a new file. So we'll just click on Select Files. And then just grab the image that we want to import and click on Open. And then with that image selected, we'll just click on Insert Media. And now you can see we've got a new image in the background. And you can mess with some settings for this image, such as the position and the size over here. And then if we go over to background overlay, 
you can change this blue hue overlay that's over the image. So right now we've just got a gradient set, but you can also just click on classic and just do one single color. So we can just click on the color and you can change this to any color that you want to put over top of that image. I think black is usually a good way to go. And then you can change the opacity to be lighter or darker. But I kind of like the blue, so I'm going to go back to the way it was. You can edit these buttons here just by simply clicking on them. And you can change the text over here. And then you can put in a custom URL here. So you can just go over to the link section and just delete the hashtag. And you can put in any URL that you want this button to go to whenever you click on it. And if you want to change the look and feel of this button, you can just go over to style. And here is where you can change the background color of the button as well as the hover color as well. And you can change any section or widget or anything at all on your website by just simply clicking on the pencil icon for anything that you want to edit. And all of the settings to edit that widget will come up here on the left. And whenever you want to save your changes, just go down here to update. And that will save your work. And then if you want to preview the website, just click on the little eyeball symbol right here that says preview changes. And here you can get an overview of your final website. So now you know how to use Elementor to edit this section of your website. Now let me show you how to edit the header and the footer at the bottom. We're going to be using the theme, which is Astra, in order to edit these things. So to do that, just simply click on Customize. And here's where you can edit the theme settings. So if you want to change your logo up here, you can just simply hover over it and click on this little blue box. Or you can just go over to Header and then go to Site Identity. And here is where you can change your logo. And you can also add a site icon right here, which is going to be this little symbol up here, which is just automatically the HostGator Gator. But you can change it to a custom one if you want to. And I have a video on my channel on how to create a logo for free in just five minutes that I'll put in the description. Or you can click on the card at the top right corner right now. You can also edit your navigation menu over here by just simply going back, going back again, then going down to menus, and then just click on navigation. And here you can reorder or add new items to your menu. And if you want to edit the footer all the way at the bottom, over here, all you have to do is click publish in order to save your work, but I haven't made any changes so I don't need to. And then just click on the X. And then just click on the WordPress symbol. And then just come down to appearance and go to header, footer, and blocks and then you'll see site footer right here and then just click on edit with Elementor and here is where you can edit your footer using Elementor and if you'd like to create a new page or edit a page just go over to the little hamburger looking symbol and exit to dashboard and then just go to pages and here you can see a list of all of the pages that are on your website and if you want to create a new one you can just click on add new right here but if I want to edit a page, I can just go over to it and click on Edit with Elementor. And here I can edit my About page using Elementor as well. Okay, so that's it guys. Now you know how to get a domain name and hosting, how to import a demo site, and how to edit the content to make it your own. So if you'd like to get started with building a website like this, just click on the very first link in the description below. And feel free to subscribe to my channel for more awesome website tutorials. All right, I'm Dale from Create a Pro Website, and I will see you on the next video.